S item SCP-2401, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-2401 and Alpha, uh, 2401-Alpha, are to be stored together in cell 22 at Research Site 45. Cell 22 must be stocked with 3 meters squared of potted wildflowers with an automated drip irrigation system to maintain them. A small electric incinerator designed for burning pine needles is to be installed near cell 22 so that it can be supplied and operated by attending staff. The exhaust of the incinerator is to be piped directly into cell 22 whenever 2401 becomes excited or agitated. Plans for combining adjacent cell 23 with cell 22 are currently awaiting approval. 2401-beta is to be held as a reserve designation until further notice. Description SCP-2401 are a previously unknown species of honeybee that exhibit parasitic or symbiotic traits depending on the sex of the human host. To date, a sustained sustainable colony of 2401 has only been observed in one human female host. In all observed cases, male hosts expire typically within 9 to 12 days post-colonization from inflammatory complications caused by routine stinging and gross modification of dermal tissue. This also com compromises the immune system, leaving male hosts vulnerable to anaerobic infection. After death of the male host, 2401 will leave the body in search for another human host. Colonization, colonization does differ slightly in female host, whereas there is much a lesser risk of infection to the higher levels of propolis production. Propolis, a resinous mixture of, that honeybees collect from botanical sources to prevent diseases and parasites from entering the hive and, and to inhibit fungal and bacterial growth. Once 30-50% of the dermis is modified to the keratin-based honeycomb, colonization reaches a stable state and does not expand further. After this process is completed, 2401 exhibits standard protective behavior toward the host, treating them as the nest. 2401 adapt host scent markers, adjusting colonial odor markers to match the host. This process synthesizes 2401 to the emotional and physical condition of the host. <laughs> yeah, look. A female host also undergoes rapid changes to both accommodate and protect 2401, which include increased tissue regeneration, higher amphetamine output, and lack of dependency for food or water. In the majority of cases, the female host retains their personality and memories which usually results in psychological trauma related to the ongoing symbiosis of 2401. This is seen to result in a high rate of auto-death in cases where the host outright rejects symbiosis. Only one surviving case has shown a distinct interest in maintaining a symbiotic relationship between itself and 2401. For all intents and purposes, she has been designated as 2401-alpha. Document Document docket 2401 T1. Note the following written ent entries were confiscated from Dr. Kenneth Lamb's hard drive. They contain sensitive information regarding 2401 alpha and, are, and remain on a high security data server. Date January 4th, 2015. Time 1632. D 6780 and and D-9343 have been both exposed to 2401. This is the second trial study as to the effects of, of 2401 on a human host. Thus far, we have not been successful in sustaining a host for more than a period of 30 days. A viable host able to survive the colonization process would be the first step into discovering a way to reverse process and revert the host back to normalcy. It has been difficult to requisition female D-class because of their of their scarcity. 
It is the only option since 2401, and a male D-class host cannot co coexist without killing the host's body. Due to the issues in previous tests, the two female hosts will be kept on auto-death watch while symptoms progress. January 8th, 2015. Time, 944. Both D-6780 and D-9343 are progressing quickly with 2401 and are in relatively good health. Today, however, 6780 had to be sedated via aerosol before the host caused further self-injury. D-9343 has been minimally responsive during this period. I've asked repeatedly for the medical records of both D-class hosts prior to testing. Paperwork seems to be faintly missing in administration. Date, January 15th, 2015. Time, 2201. Four hours ago, D-6780's attempt at drowning in a cell commode provided proof successful by clogging it with daily food rations and filling it up with water. Cell 21 is currently under, under quarantine until the decontamin decontamination teams can assemble in the morning. I'm hoping for a more viable autopsy than the previous ones. D-9343 seems to be much calmer during this process. So far, the host is only is the only one who has made it this far in, in 2401's colonization. I have requested for maintenance and from the site director to modify cell 22 as to help help better accommodate 2401 in the host. I'm also still waiting for released medical records. January 26, 2015. Time, 12.15. Uh, 12.55. D-9343 and... 2401 has successfully achieved full symbiosis. D-9343 have been designated as 2401-alpha and has been observed to be much more active. As a reviewing footage, I've noticed that 2401-alpha does not eat or drink, It's it seems. Administration has found the records on 94 D-9443, but they are from her previous institution and incarceration of incarceration. Unfortunately, the information is severely lacking in detail, with the exception of her criminal record. I'll review this information and perhaps use it during my upcoming interviews with her. January 27, 2015, 1403. I'm going to take my first interview with 2401 alpha She seems relatively eager to see another phase from nearly a month of solitary confinement. I asked her about her symptoms, and she explained while in the beginnings she was experiencing a great deal of pain. Most have been curtailed, and she feels much better. A quick physical examination conducted through the observation window concluded that she is estimated to have 50% of her body surface converted into honeycomb-like structures, many of which contain 2401 in various stages of maturity. I question about where 2401 originates from what 2401 Alpha could not answer. January 30th, 2015, time 912. I went over 2401's Alpha criminal's records with her. She had trouble recollecting much of her past for some reason, most of which ha had to deal with her abusive relatives at a young age before being placed in foster care until she was 15. I was unable to continue with the rest of her background as I noticed she was growing more and more agitated. I used the newly installed smoker for the first time to help her calm down. She was effectively suppressed and I concluded for the day. February 2nd, 2015, 1347. Before I was able to conduct the interview, 2401-Alpha was adamant about apologizing for her, for her behavior in the previous interview. She introduced herself by her first name, Mary, and asked me mine. I introduced my, myself as well. Her intentions seemed harmless. Afterwards, she tried multiple times to derail the interview with small talk. I was able to keep her focused on explaining her symptoms. Mary attempted to explain a dream she had involved me, but could not recall specific details. I asked her questions regarding, regarding her mental state and wrote some additional notes to discuss with the on-site psychologist. February 3rd, 2015, 
Mary had stated in her interview today that she is experiencing a recurring dream, though upon waking up, she can't recall any of it other than I am in it as well. I asked her if she would like writing supplies in order to keep a dream journal. She agreed, however, the request was denied by my superior. Mary spends her time preoccupied with her own thoughts, and at times she appears rather lucid and unresponsive. I've requested it for additional items to help improve stimulus, however, they're they are repeatedly denied. February 4th, 2015, 110. Mary and I have been meeting on a daily basis now. Her demeanor has been deteriorating, it seems. Off shift guards have informed me that she is she has to be smoked nightly. When I confronted Mary with this information, she stated that it was because of her dreams. She still maintains that she can't recall them after awakening. My recent discussions with an on-site psychologist over my notes are still inconclusive as to Mary's mental condition. I'll continue to visit Mary daily to, to gain more details on involving her mental state. Aside from that, the S2401 colony appears to be thriving and in optimal health. Addendum 2401-001 Due to 2401 Alpha's recent containment breach, staff and security teams are prohibited from entering cell 22 or conversing with 2401 Alpha without direct authorization from the site director. Further research into 2401 or 2401 Alpha has been put on hold indefinitely. Post Incident Review 2401-03 Interview Date February 15, 2015 Interview Time 4.30 Site Location Research Site 15, 45 Offices Interviewers seen Senior Internal Investigator Ruben Foster, Interviewees Research Researcher Dr. Kenneth Lamb, Agent Foster. All right, the color is is on. How are you holding up, Dr. Lamb? I'm I'm still in shock of the whole thing. I guess. Well, let me just ask. Who do you think you you were? Why do you think you were chosen? I don't know. Well, you were. You were assigned to her. It. R right. It. For three months. You're interviewed with it every day, it looks like. They monitor, monitor other humanoids in that wing, too. So, back to my original question. But, but perhaps maybe the, the human insider, I mean, it, made a connection? Either way, it it got what it wanted from me. Oh, God. I feel like you, you, can, you can continue. I suppose. Sorry, I'm still I just rattled over the whole thing. Well, medically, you you checked out fine. Just bump, bumps and scratches. So does that. Look, I don't want to push you after something traumatic like that. Anything you want to say on the record? I want an injection. Give me the injection and give me a transfer, please. I got gotcha. you. I'll see what I can do. And then 2401-002, Dr. Redacted is to be transferred out of, out of Research Site 45 after he is fully debriefed on the containment breach incident involving himself in 2401 Alpha. He, is, he has opted for an immediate amnestic solution and will be no, demoted to level 0 permanently for security reasons. Continued observation and reporting of his behaviors within the Foundation will be monitored for a period of no less than 3 years. Yeah. Post incident interview 2401 06. Interview date June 16, 2015. Interview time 2205. That was a fake name. Then why not use that later? True. Site location research site 45. Secured humanoid containment wing cell 22. Interviewer senior international investigator Ruben Foster. Interviewees 2401 Alpha. Recorder on SCP Dash. Mary, excuse me. We like to be called Mary. Fine, Mary. What is your relationship to Doctor Lum? Relationship? Is that what he called it? Him and us? Never mind. Can you explain what you did to him the last time you two were together in February? You remembered him being quiet and rather content about it. Well. He was adamant about not wanting to see you ever again. Hmm. 
We don't believe you. We are happy with the outcome still. Yes. 2401 Alpha. Sully rubs her hands over her swan adamant. This is part of the cycle. It is, and it is not. We need sterner host. The females are fragile yet willful. Strong queens for strong colonies. Our sweet Kenny. Tell him for us that his progeny grows stronger with each passing day. Tell him we all await his return. Yeah, I'll pass that along. Sustain buzzing. Agent Foster turns off the intercom to cell 22. You aren't actually considering that quest, are you? No, fuck that. Do me a favor, though. You see that button for the, for the center, though? Yes, sir. Smoker. As far as I'm aware, they, I don't think they did. Maybe? I don't know. It's not... Impl it's not said, so I'm assuming they didn't. <laughs> Alright. So that's that anomaly. I just got the Mary and the Lamb part. Yeah. I mean, she is pregnant. Yeah. And here you go, Buckram. And if it's his kid, I guess. <laughs> you guessed it. You guessed it. <laughs> it's four. Except the bees are leaving the the stomach. <laughs> I don't see anywhere where it's stated that the stomach gets bloated. They just turn the body, you know. Too bad, though. I almost want to hit it with some points of including it right in the belly. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't say anywhere where it, it, the, the stomach gets bloated. Just that it turns the body into a honeycomb-like structure. So, how about it? So, hmm. Would it be like a three? Because it does include... Almost a nude woman, but not all the way. Last one had Alpha rubbing her hands over her swollen. Oh yeah, the abdomen was swollen. But that's not just the adamant, which is... Wait, is that the pregnant part? This is... But how big does it... The swollen adamant, does it... Did I read that wrong? So some kids... I think someone who are living being a of a baby. Oh. But, wait, how long does it... How big does it get? Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. I'm an idiot. <laughs> As an it's stomach area here. It's in the base. It's a stable state. Does not. Or says when it is standard protective behavior toward the host. Treating it as a nest. Which include increased tissue and vert generation. Okay. So yeah, I'm trying to see how big it gets. And it doesn't even say. That's great. Mm. So I guess 
it's not as bad. Wait, from the middle. That many contains vital organs such as stomach, small intestine, and large intestine, liver, and spleen. The gallbladder. Okay, I see. What the fuck? No, no, what the fuck? You saw nothing. <laughs> well, I mean, you actually couldn't see anything. Hmm. Hmm. So maybe a two? Bookworm? I hate that the side of my mouse has a fucking button to go to the, to the previous area. It's so stupid. Two or three, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll go with two. Because it's not as bad. I guess he's leaning onto the pricey part of it. Yeah. Alright. I... Well, this is also more inaccurate. Actually, make it a three. Make it a three. Okay. Because that's be... For me, had a warning to be 18 plus. Yeah. This is already showing inaccuracy. Because what you're basically showing, is telling me is it would not reach this high. It's making this for his audience of kids or so many kids. Yeah. It would not reach this high. This already looks bad. Because a lot of what's being shown isn't in that area. Hmm. Well, this is going to be great. Anyways, you ready? Doesn't hit the face. As far as I'm aware, it I think it sticks to around that area. Inflammatory connotations. Well, maybe it does touch more. Maybe okay. Post inflammatory. We can just do routine stinging. Yeah, it it would cause inflammatory issues because of the stinging, and gross modification of the dermal tissue, which is down below so yeah it it goes it stay pretty much stays down there not towards the head so yeah that's that's oh uh, no anyways here we go the body appeared to be in an advanced state of decomposition the body appeared to be in an advanced state of decomposition, but they had received a call only three days before. The man's wife had contacted wildlife control a week prior to that. Due to the nature of the incident, the foundation had been notified that their expertise might be required. Oh my God. Kloss bent down and examined the body more closely. The body was covered in large swells and bruises, synonymous with insect bites. Half of his skin was rotten and black with faint Where's the insect bites? All I'm seeing is the honeycomb structure and bees. Hexagonal patterns. What could have happened to this man to cause the state of decay in a matter of days? Oh wait, I just saw the warning before SP said non-consensual act, sex acts. 
So, Mary, oh my god. Oh, yeah. Okay, so she did do that. Okay. Saw something move under the man's arm. As he looked closer, a bee crawled out from under his skin. Quarantine the whole area. Full hazmat suits. I want the whole area smoked. He carefully picked up the bee and put it into a vial. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-2401, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Remember to subscribe and like. You're telling me that a bee did this? SCP-2401. And yes, you Why saw the Why is there a decapitated 049 head? Get me a D-class <laughs> and let's run a little experiment. See what exactly these bees are up to. Alright, I'll take care of it. And Chen, strict quarantine. I don't want this thing getting out or spreading. We don't know how it works yet or what it can do. Yep, got it, Chief. D6780 looked hesitantly okay. around the room. It's one of the characters. She never trusted those agents, but the doctors were worse. They what? were the ones who would do terrible, unspeakable things to you. The door opened and two men in hazmat suits stepped into the cell. One of them carried a small wooden box. Puffs of smoke came from within. The other carried a flower pot with what looked like wildflowers in it. They moved to the corner of the room and set both items down. The first man opened the box and they both left. She hesitantly peered inside the box. Bees. A few sleepy looking bees laid on the bottom of the box. As the smoke cleared, one of them flew up and towards her, but it didn't sting her. It just floated in front of her eyes, seemingly analyzing her, sizing her up. For what? How's D6780 looking? Well, there appears to be some integration between her and the bees. They seem to be forming a sort of symbiotic relationship. What? Like they're feeding off her? No, not like that. They're... Well, they seem to be turning her into some sort of hive. A uh, beehive? For real? Apparently so. The disease for lack I noticed in a reusing animation in the background. Bees. It's vector-borne, not airborne or waterborne. It's relatively safe to be around her. Have her brought to the lab. Just hazmat suits. You won't need to quarantine the area or have a cleanup crew on standby. Dr. Kloss would like to have a look at you. Please step forward. D6780 came towards the door. The top of her neck had a honeycomb structure on the skin. Clearly, hey. the work of SCP-2401. He wouldn't Chen go that high. The agents in hazmat suits moved forward. Bring her to Dr. Kloss. The agents walked her down the corridor. Approaching from the other side was another D-class with an escort. Oh my god. Hey, hey, are you okay? Have they been treating you okay? Yeah, no, I'm fine. The usual. Are you okay? Your neck? D-9343, keep moving. As the women passed, D-6780 lightly brushed D-9343's hand and gave her a reassuring look, mouthing the words, hang in there. Kloss looked her over. And how do you feel? Truthfully, not well. Oh my god. I'm having nightmares. There are things inside me. You need to get them out of me. Take it easy. What do you mean by nightmares? I don't know. I, I don't know. But you need to remove them or I'll... I'll... Okay. Let me see what we can do. Kloss signaled for the agents to take her back to herself. Hold on. I need to go look. Did they, did they ever mention they had nightmares? Uh -huh, so let's see. Let's press it quickly. Then sedated aerosol before it host caused self injury. And then they ended their lives. No, they've never once mentioned nightmares. Only 9343 nine, mentioned dreams. We have no idea what, what happened with 6780. Okay. Sorry. Were the woman this distressed? Um. By this. The. It looks like four days later, 6780 became distressed. But only four days later.
So it took a couple days. Okay. But only one of them. They found her the next day. She had clogged her toilet and drowned herself. Wait a minute. I don't think it was the toilet. Hold on. Then the running cell can prove sex for like clogging it with daily food rations, filling it with water. Commode? Is like commode a toilet? Because if not, yeah, okay, it is. Okay. I wasn't sure. Dead bees surrounded her body. Behind the agents, D9343 walked past. She screamed and grabbed again. the door frame. You murderers! What did you do to her? You pay for this? That didn't Escort happen. Dragged her away as she yelled. They, I'm pretty sure Sorry they didn't even know. That, guys. I think they were close. Okay. No problem, Lamb is here, so it's three. Doctor Lamb had been overseeing Mary for the past few weeks. He was pretty new to this division and still getting the hang of things. Wait, are they doing like? Did they make those two female characters gay and then kill off one of them? Yeah, they had everyone in solitary, right? Yeah, they had him in solitary. They didn't even see each other. Okay, so they're, again, they're changing a bunch of shit. Wait, did they? Well, I mean, they. She seems freaked out that they died, and they they seem to talk nicely and hold and touch hands with each other. So I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I mean, I want to be put it past them, especially after the Japanese video. Things had taken a turn for the worse yeah, after man. the incident with D6780. Mary had appeared agitated and confused for more than a week. The situation culminated in a seizure. This didn't happen. The seizure, they had monitored but left her in containment for 72 hours. They sent two agents in with Dr. Lamb to recover the body. As the agents approached, she suddenly awoke and incapacitated both agents in moments. This didn't happen. She then pulled Dr. Lamb to the I floor. Well, before I, climbing well, on top I, of I, I, I. Emergency MTF units responded and what? stunned D9343, removing her from Dr. Lamb and confining her once again. Uh, Claw sat I, down in front of D9343, I, Chen standing behind. So, what was all that about? What was your relationship with Dr. Lamb? My God. Relationship? Is that what he called it? Can you explain what you did to him? We remember him being quiet and rather content. He's done with you. We don't okay, quick stop. She got extremely agitated in the video after the death. So I think they did destroy like a gay relationship in the video. Oh my god. It's, I don't know if it's fully confirmed, but oh my god. I can't believe they, well, they censored it a bit, but they fucking included it. And as well as they're changing the interview. His contribution was welcome. What contribution? Tell him his progeny grows strong. Strong queens for strong colonies, don't you know? She slowly unbuttoned her shirt and gently rubbed her belly. What in the fact? SCP-2401 and SCP-2401 Alpha are to be stored together in cell 22 at research site 45. Cell what? 22 must be stocked with three square meters of potted wildflowers with an automated drip irrigation system Wait, to maintain them. Hold on. I thought they were separated. Hold on. Oh no, they're stored together. I think they're separated at first, that's right. A Never small mind. electric incinerator designed for burning pine needles is to be installed near cell 22 so that it can be supplied and operated by attending staff. The exhaust of the incinerator is to be piped directly into cell 22 whenever SCP-2401 becomes excited or agitated. 
Plans for combining adjacent cell what 23 with cell 22 are currently awaiting approval. SCP-2401 Beta is to be held as a reserve designation until further notice. SCP-2401 are a previously unknown species of honeybee that exhibit parasitic or symbiotic traits depending on the sex of the human host. To date, a sustainable colony of SCP-2401 has only been observed in one human female host. In all observed cases, male hosts expire typically within 9 to 12 days post-colonization from inflammatory complications caused by routine stinging and gross modification of dermal tissue. This also compromises the immune system, leaving male hosts vulnerable to anaerobic infection. After death of the male host, SCP-2401 will leave the body in search of another human host. Colonization does differ slightly in female hosts, whereas there is a much lesser risk of infection due to higher levels of propolis production. It's about to say, yeah. Once 30 to 50 percent of the dermis is modified into a keratin-based honeycomb, the colonization reaches a stable state and does not expand further. After this process is completed, oh SCP-2401 exhibits standard protective behavior towards the host, treating them as the nest. What the fuck? SCP-2401 oh adopts host scent markers, adjusting colonial odor markers. To oh my god! Wait, the f wait, this hold on, hold on. SCP-2401 to the emotional and physical condition of the host. The female host also undergoes rapid changes to both accommodate and protect SCP-2401, which includes increased tissue regeneration, higher amphetamine output, and lack of dependency for food or water. In the majority of cases, the female host retains their personality and memories, what the which fuck? usually results in psychological trauma related with the ongoing symbiosis of SCP-2401. They showed it again! This is seen to result in a high rate of suicide in cases where the host outright rejects symbiosis. Only one surviving case has shown no. the distinct no, 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 no. maintaining the symbiotic relationship between itself and oh, SCP-2401. Okay. For all intents and purposes, she has been designated as SCP-2401 Alpha. These are our friends. Without them, the cycle of nature would end. However, with these bees, it might be wise to maintain your distance. As always, have a care, and remember to subscribe, like, and share. Oh, if you what the, what the fuck? <laughs> they just at the end have a woman having a seizure. Now, granted, let's go back, because I think they did remove a character. Hold on. Um, yeah, they removed Agent Foster and a technician. I mean, it wasn't super important, but they did remove him. As well as the whole fucking interview with Dr. Lamb. As well as Lamb doing the, the whole experiment, too. Okay, luckily, they're not removing women this time. Hey! Removal of characters. Um... They got, they removed two, which is Technician and Ruben. Ruben was more integral. That's the anomaly. They removed them. Is there anyone else they removed? I'm looking. Oh yeah, also not letting him know about level zero stuff. You said the agent, yeah. As well as the technician. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else. So just the Foster, Agent Ruben Foster, and a technician. Technician wasn't important, but I mean, that is a character they did remove. So we have to mention it. Um... Yeah. 
I have to say two? Because it... <laughs> they only removed one important character, not two. Uh, added gore or violence? Hmm. This is a bit more tough. They did include a certain scene. But they did... I think... Hmm. Did it show more at the beginning, like, dead corpses? More dead corpse. And, um... Showed heavily aggressive behavior that wasn't shown, as far as I'm aware. I know they broke free. Yeah, they just mentioned that the that they broke free. They didn't say what happened. Just that they broke free. So there's two MTF that got destroyed for some reason. I don't know how. And the fucking... I think it was relatively a thing considering it's subject matter. Yeah. The only thing that makes it like a higher number, I think. Yeah, it would be the attacking of the MTF and the dead corpse. Oh yeah, as well as the fucking seizure. I forgot about the seizure. Where they include that even at the end of where they were done talking about the anomaly, they include this woman having a seizure. <laughs> I don't think that was even stated in the article that that would happen. Yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't say anything about fucking seizure. They just included that on their own. I forgot to mention the part... I had wondered if the seizure had happened in an article. It did not. They included that. They just all of a sudden. Let's just give her a seizure. Fuck. So I'm thinking three. Mainly because of the seizure and the knocking of the MTF. That's what I'm thinking. Deviates from the plot of the article. Hmm. Granted, the interview between Doc Dr. Lana was completely discarded. Even though they did show up, they were discarded. They only were shown in for the sixth scene. <laughs> Three sounds good. Yeah, as well as Ruben was gotten rid of. Which had an important interview thing. It kind of summarized the article a bit. Yeah. But it, it did remove an interview completely. So I wouldn't say a one. Yeah, he needed a reason for <laughs> to be pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Poor lamb. As well as they did, like, random characters doing the shit instead of the actual characters in the article. Forgot about that. Those, those two, they keep showing up in every video. Two or three. I'll go with three. That's what I'm thinking, because a whole chunk was deleted. It's, as well as someone integral to the article. Done. All right, fifty five. Stabby forty five percent. <laughs> 